has spent over 20 years standing in by-elections, parliamentary elections, European elections, um, to begin with getting pretty derisory scores and indeed in my first contest only just beating the late great screaming Lord Such. <laughs> I beat him by 164 votes, it wasn't bad at the time. Uh, but I fought, and I, after 20 years in business, I came into politics because I believe that the best people to govern Britain are the British people themselves, and I'm delighted we're having this referendum. Yeah. Yeah. And the way that it's been perceived over the last few years is somehow that if you're Eurosceptic, you're on the centre-right of British politics. That's how it's been portrayed. Actually, this issue about whether we're to be an independent, self-governing nation that makes its own laws and controls its own borders, this issue isn't about left and right. This issue is about right and wrong. That's what it's about. And that's what we fight for. I'm just so pleased, actually thrilled, to be sharing the platform with people from political parties with whom we've spent much of that last 20 years tearing chunks out of each other. <laughs> but we've cast aside all tribal loyalty, be it on the right, the centre or the left, and we're coming together and we'll work together for these next 72 days in a battle, a battle against the establishment. And it is the establishment, because be in no doubt that this European Union project is very good for some people. It's very good for politicians. I mean, if they lose their seat in the House of Commons, well, they can always go and become MEPs. <laughs> if they're a complete disaster in government, they become a European Commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> great club, it's a wonderful club for professional career civil servants who exchange their salaries in Whitehall for double that in Brussels and a top rate of tax of 16%. Wow. That is what the Eurocrats pay and we have an argument going on in this country about tax evasion and tax avoidance. The biggest tax evasion and avoidance in the whole of our continent are the people that work for the European Union itself. Yeah. in no doubt this union is great for giant multinational companies operating in this country in the construction sector and elsewhere because they're able to feed off a mass of cheap imported foreign labor and it's yeah. good it's good for the big banks those banks who failed so dramatically in 2008 were bailed out by you the taxpayer and of course are now funding the remain campaign in this country so what we're up against here, we're up against the vested interests, we're up against an elite, we're up against people who make a great deal of money out of this European Union, and this referendum, this battle, must be clearly defined, this is the people versus the politicians, and we're on the side of the people. Now, apart from touring around the country and speaking at GO meetings, and we were in Glasgow on Thursday, I have to say you're a bit friendlier here today than they were. <laughs> uh, yeah. the, no members of the Salmon mob here today? No, I'm delighted. <laughs> but apart from touring around the country, I spent the first two days of this week in the Netherlands. I went over to campaign in, for the Dutch referendum that took place on Wednesday of this week, and I was out campaigning for those two days in Amsterdam. In fact, my knuckles are still quite sore from knocking on all those windows. Everyone's got a vote. For those that didn't get the joke, don't worry. <laughs> but what a wonderful result. Ostensibly, the Dutch referendum was about the EU's deal with Ukraine and visa-free access for Ukrainians and ultimately, as the Prime Minister David Cameron so desperately wants, 
for Ukraine to join the European Union. But in reality, people weren't voting on that treaty. People in the Netherlands were voting on how they feel about the European Union, and they said no. Just as in December, the people in Denmark, who had a referendum, said no. Just as the people in Greece, earlier last year, when they had a referendum, they said no. Just as the people in Ireland, when they had a referendum on the Lisbon Treaty, and they said no. And just as when the French people and the Dutch people in 2005 had a referendum on the European Constitution and they said no. And in a bizarre way, this European Union project is bringing together the peoples of Europe, but not in the way that was originally intended. <laughs> it is bringing together the peoples of Europe in their mutual dislike and distrust of an undemocratic, centralised bureaucracy that intends to destroy our national identities, our borders, our boundaries, our democracy, and our own very identities. Ladies and gentlemen, you can vote to leave with comfort because we are not alone. Now, one of the features of that referendum in the Netherlands on Wednesday was that the government and the yes side massively outspent the no side. But the no side still won. And there is, of course, an attempt in this country by the Remain side, or should we call them the Romanians? <laughs> <laughs> Which always gets me in trouble. <laughs> Chap said to me this morning I should take politics more seriously, he might be right. <laughs> we are now seeing an attempt by the Remain side, not just, not just as previous speakers have hinted today, to use Project Fear, to use frankly not much more than a pack of scare stories and lies, but we're now seeing an attempt by the British government, by the British government to play unfairly. Because what they're going to do is spend the best part of 10 million quid of your money putting this document through every household, through 27 million households in this country. Quite how David Cameron can pretend that he wants to conduct this referendum on free and fair terms, I simply don't know. And given that we have an electoral commission, and given that there were commitments made in Parliament, for this referendum to be conducted on free and fair terms, I can only conclude that the reason the government has decided to cheat is because they're damn scared. I'm delighted. Yeah. Yeah. And just look at some of the utter rubbish that is in this document. It says, yeah, I'm warming up now. <laughs> it says that if we vote to remain, we will keep control of our borders. 